In 2019, it is very simple to distribute your music, and today I'm going to teach you how to do just that. My name is El Marquis, musician, rapper, record producer, Unashamed Christ Wallower. Today, I'm going to teach you how to distribute your music using DistroKid. El Marquis Productions. All right, so now we switched over to the computer. I logged into my DistroKid account, which is distrokid.com. So now this is what the screen will look like if you are a completely new member. So now all you have to do to upload music is you either can click there to upload music or you can click on the top right here to upload. And these are all the stores that your music will be available in Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, Google Play, and YouTube Music, etc. etc. So now when you're uploading your actual music, you have to choose how many songs you're uploading one time. So one song is a single and then you can just go down here for if you're doing multiple songs if you never released any of your music through a distributor before then you just click no if you use a different distributor in the past you will click yes and then you would just click on your previous release date for it so for right now it's going to click no artist slash band name is pretty self-explanatory you just put your artist or band name in there if you uploaded music before to spotify and apple music you'll be able to link your account to your spotify and apple music account your release date is the day that you want your music to actually be released on so let's say you want this to drop on july 4th you just click on the month button right here go to july click that number you go to four and then you'd most likely want to drop in 2019 so yeah 2019 or if you wanted to drop it in 2021 for example i guess you could do that too but whatever so July 4th, 2019, that's a release date. You can choose what time your music drops on Spotify, which you may be able to use up to your strategy. I recommend just keeping it at 12 a.m., but if you want to drop it at a later time, you can do that as well. Let's say, I don't know, 1 o'clock p.m. Just go up to there. It's already on zero. And then p.m. There you go. Now your music will drop July 4th, 1 o'clock p.m. The time synchronization feature is cool if you have fans in different time zones. So according to your own personal strategy, you could choose to drop it in the listener's time zone, or let's say whatever time zone you're in, you could drop it on one o'clock according to whatever your time zone is. You can make your tracks available for pre-order on iTunes, Google Play, and Amazon. You want to do that if you want to maximize your first day release sales. That's what I personally recommend, especially if you set your release date to two to four weeks in advance. You can get people to pre-order your music. They will instantly to be able to download your album or your single the moment it comes out. That helps build awareness for your music as well as increasing your first day sales, which also can help you rise on the charts even quicker than if you decided to opt out for that. Record label, you can put pretty much whatever you want. If you if you aren't on a label, you can just put your artist name. If you run your own indie label, if you're signed to a label, you can put that down too. Album cover, you can either click this and find an image. I'm just going to click a random image right now for the sake of this video. Or you can just drag it in there and then bam, it just pops up like that. And make sure your album art is good and high quality. Make sure it's the correct size. 3000 by 3000 is what is acceptable. Do not resize a smaller image to make it larger because then it would look blurry and it's just not going to look super nice at all. In fact, even DistroKid will say stores re will reject images that are super blurry. And make sure you have the rights and the permission to use whatever images that you use. Next, you choose what language your music is in. So for me, that's English because I speak English. If you make Spanish music, you would click Spanish. If you make German rap, you, you will put German. Primary genre is whatever genre of music you think fits your style the most so for me i make christian hip-hop music so i could either click christian slash gospel or i could click hip-hop and slash rap you can do a secondary genre so that's where i would put christian slash gospel for for me and now you get to put down your song titles so i'm just put down a random song name right now the uh, apples so after you put down your title you find your correct audio file i recommend using a wave file because that's uncompressed and that will give you the most high quality sounding audio so i'm just going to just go through, click a random audio file just for the sake of demonstration purposes. And then you can see right there, the title of it pops up for you to see. If you distributed your music before, or you happen to have an ISRC code, you will click that and you put it over here. If you don't know what that is, or you don't have it, then don't even worry about it. On Songwriter, you click this tab if the song is original, or you click this tab right here if it's a cover song. So the majority of people are going to be using original music, so I'll just click that for this purpose right here. On this tab, put down the songwriter's names, their real names. So assuming that you wrote the lyrics, you will put down your government name, and let's say you're someone like me who writes and produces the majority of their music, you, you can put down music and lyrics. And let's say you, you know the producer who made your track, but you should, you put down their first and their last name. Like I said before, if you don't know what an ISRC code is, 
then don't even worry about it. Digital Kid will generate one for you for free, so you don't you can leave that blink if you don't have one. If you be cussing a lot in your music, then you gotta click yes on your explicit lyrics. I don't cuss in any of my music, so I click no. Under is this a radio edit if you cussed in your song before, but you're uploading a clean version right now, or if you just didn't cuss in your song at all, you'll click no, the song is clean and always has been. Or if this is a clean version of an explicit song, you would say, yes, there is an explicit version of the song, but this is the clean or censored version of it. I just click no because I don't cuss in my music. They're also asking if it's an instrumental and if the song contains lyrics, then no, it is not an instrumental. Or if you're an EDM artist or a lo-fi artist or anyone who makes music with little to no lyrics, you would just click that the song is an instrumental and contains no lyrics here for your single you can choose whatever price you want to charge for your single so that can be 69 cents 99 cents or one dollar 29 cents and here's some extras that you can add on to your releases so the instagram and facebook add-on is free what this does is it makes your music available to put in instagram and facebook stories so if a fan makes a story and they want to use your music in their story it's easily available for them to do that with that, this option with the store maximizer distro kit will automatically upload your music to new upcoming stores whenever there's a new one out automatically but the shazam and iphone siri that sends your song to shazam and iphone siri if you don't know what shazam is if you're in public if you're driving around and someone's playing some loud music and you hear the song all over from your car you want to figure out what song that is without disturbing the other driver you can open up shazam with your phone and then the song will pop up on shazam and that's awesome if you want your music to be even more easily discovered and then the leave a legacy option basically ensures that your music will always be up on all the streaming sites no matter what so if you stop paying your membership for digital kid your songs will still be up and not taken down or if you unfortunately pass away and you're literally not able to pay digital kid any money from the grave then your music will still be up and available for everyone to enjoy forever and then all these boxes down here are disclaimers just to make sure that you know what you're doing that you agree to digital kids terms and services so you selected youtube music as a store so you won't email digital kid later asking why did you upload my music to youtube i recorded this music and am authorized to sell it in stores worldwide and collect all royalties very important don't be stealing people's royalties i am not using any other artist's name in my name song titles or album title without their approval so if you're not little wayne do not try Try to upload your music as Lil Wayne. And I have read and agreed to the terms of the Distro Kid distribution agreement. And if you haven't, you can click that right there. Pops up a new tab and then bam, you can read all of that. I recommend you read that. You should know what you're signing up for. And then done. And I'm not going to click done right now because this is a demonstration so there you go super easy to distribute your music through distro kid it doesn't take super long if you're doing a single if you're doing an album it does take a little bit longer but it's not super hard at all and then it doesn't take super long for your music to be uploaded either but distro kid recommends that you upload your music i think three to four weeks in advance so they can ensure that all of the music hits all the stores on the right time even two weeks in advance is still pretty good but definitely like stick to the three to four weeks in advance that also gives you time to set up pre-orders and pre-saves so i highly recommend that you do this Thank you for watching this video. If you like what you've seen today, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so you know whenever I upload new videos. And if you're not already a member of DistroKid, you can go down in the description below and click on my referral link and that will give you a 7% discount off of your first year with DistroKid. And I get a small percentage of that sale, so that helps this channel grow and helps fund my business so I can continue making awesome music for videos for you like this. Now go down in the comment section below and let me know if you have any other questions about DistroKid or distributing music in general that you would like me to answer. My name is El Marquis, El Marquis Productions. God bless.